Love and kisses, everybody. I am so sorry, but something's come up. I have to take care of it now. So would you mind if we just picked up next week where we left off? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Pastor so, McKnight, I may I see you, please? You, yes, ma'am. You, you wanna Deacon Hall, would yeah. you join us? Uh, okay, I have to make sure that Mary's car starts. That's fine. That's fine. Please. Okay. Please. Yes, ma'am. Pastor McKnight. Uh-huh. I do believe I just met your deacon in the sanctuary. Was he on his way in? I uh, don't think so. Well, what was he doing? According to him, he was counseling. Uh-huh. According to me, he was having a hot date. A lot of kissy face stuff. I believe her name is Miss Malone. Okay. That would be Bitsy. <laughs> Bitsy Malone? She goes by Choo Choo. Your deacon is dating a woman named Bitsy Choo Choo Malone? Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to regret asking. Mm -hmm. Has the train left the station? Huh? Are they... Huh? How old are you? Please don't ask me to draw a picture. Are they doing the dirty? Oh, that I don't know. Did you ask? No. I'm not, I'm not too smart. Help me out here. So your deacon, your head deacon, mm -hmm. best I know, your only deacon, is playing footsie with some woman named Bitsy Choo Choo Malone. And it never crossed your mind to ask him if they're in sin? Well, understand this right here. She had a hard time growing up, and now that she's back in the church, I didn't want to come off so hard or seem judgmental towards her. You know? How in the world is she supposed to grow in faith if she's consorting with some guy of limited character and certainly low moral standards? But how do wait, you... Wait, wait, wait. Let's lay a foundation to build this conversation on. Okay. In the throne room, there are four living creatures, and they're calling back and forth over the throne of God. What? Holy, holy, holy. Yes. Is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and is to come. Right. Which means as far back into eternity that way, they were always crying holy. Right now, they're still crying holy. And as far into eternity that way, they will always be crying holy. So it's imperative that we be holy. And don't forget, God said to Abraham, even as I am holy, you be holy too. And if we fast forward, of course, to the New Testament, we can land any place there, but let's just take a stop at 1 Peter, where Peter said, even as he who's called you is holy, be holy in everything you do. So we have to be holy, especially in our leadership. Now answer me this. What happens, generally speaking, in a church when the leadership is found in sin? They usually just split. You're right. What else happens? Or they just individually leave. It's exactly right. And they usually do it for one of two reasons. One, they figured, well, if the leadership can't stay holy, what hope is there for us? But the one that really breaks my heart is when they leave because they say they're hypocritical. So what do they do? They go out the back door and they tell half the planet the church is hypocritical. We have to take the holiness of God's people seriously, especially the leadership. True. Things were going so well, you know? Deacon Samuels was a big part of our church growth. Ah. And I guess I just misjudged the situation. Okay. Well, we all make mistakes. And let me tell you how I feel about our relationship. Besides the fact that I love you. <laughs> I see us as iron sharpening iron. And there are things that I'll be able to share with you that will help you grow 
and you've known me long enough to know there are going to be a whole lot of things that you're going to be able to share with me yep. so that I can grow. And that's what we're doing right here. We're growing together as leadership so that we can be the leaders that God has called us to be. And that now that we've discussed this, we'll make sure that the leadership we surround his people with are people of high character and holiness. So it's a good thing. Derek, we have got a problem, and this thing cannot be ignored. I can't help but to agree. You know, I mean, honestly, it's been building for quite a while now. Really? And you know what? He hasn't always been this way. Really? But one thing I've noticed about him, mm -hmm. as the church grew, mm -hmm. so did his ego. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to him about it? I did. And sometimes he would respond. Okay. But... He would always get back into that thing of adore me instead of adore him. Please don't tell me that I just saw that crazy clown just walking through the sanctuary. She's back. Nah, you've been seeing things. You know, old age starting to set in with you. Mm. Mm. Do we need to add that to the prayer list? Ooh, if it's Deacon Hall, yes, by all means. We need to add that poor soul to the prayer list. It's pitiful. I tell you, it's pitiful. Ha, ha, ha. You two think you're real... Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, we were discussing Deacon Samuels. Mm -hmm. So, strike one. He has a total disregard for the seriousness of the responsibilities of his position. Strike two. I'm fairly certain he's a liar. He knew what time this meeting was. Am I correct? Absolutely. I took it upon myself to even call him personally last night to remind him. Well, I have to admit, I did give him a call, you know, one deacon to another. One deacon to another. And Gina even put it in the bulletin to remind us all last Sunday. So there's no excuse. Just as I suspected. All right, the only thing left to do right now is let's play some cards. Play some cards? But what about Deacon Samuels? Oh, we're gonna get to Deacon Samuels shortly. But right now, I just feel the need to play me some gin rummy. Gin rummy? I don't play that. So, you want to be head deacon, but you don't want to put your trust in your pastor? Uh, it's not exactly that. Lamar, believe it or not, this is church business and you need to be here. So, I'm going to go get the cards. You two decide who's going to deal. I'll be back. How do you play gin rummy anyway? Oh, man, it's just a thing of sets and runs. Yeah, I'd like to run her right on out of this <laughs> church. That's exactly what I'd like to do. How long's it been since uh, Deacon Samuels left? About 45 minutes. Hey! 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 Well, how long does it take to get from here to his house? About 25 minutes. That'll about do it. All right, let's go see if we got a strike three. And Deacon Hall, you're coming too. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Gina has already warned me about this. You're getting ready to start some trouble. Trouble? I don't no, want any trouble. No, 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 stop mm -mm. that. Now all we're going to do is go on a little field trip. Do a little research. I'm not going anywhere until you put that collar back on. At least then I'll know you'll behave. Coward. Bag. Poop. <laughs> My goodness. What am I dealing with a bunch of two-year-olds? <laughs> Come on.